Let us see. So, she lives. Impressive. Or merely lucky, though that too may prove a useful trait. My lord, what have you done to me? Though we Garlians are intellectually and physiologically superior in almost all respects, we lack the hereditary traits required for the reliable manipulation of ether, hence our unique inability to wield magics. This deficiency, for want of a better word, saw us subjected to decades of oppression by the lesser races, and we were eventually driven to seek shelter in the cold northern reaches of Ilsabad. Fortunately, said region was replete with vast deposits of cerulean, which proved instrumental in the development of Magitech, a revolutionary technology conceived to compensate for our disadvantage. It was with Magitech that we grew strong, that our nation became an empire. Yet, ultimately, this was an extrinsic solution to an intrinsic problem. What I want was not a crude device to be used in lieu of magic. Through modification of the Garlean genome, I argued that it might be possible to enhance a subject's ability to manipulate ether, effectively empowering them to wield magics. Alas, my theories were met with consternation in the Imperial Court. Only Lord Xenos, with commendable foresight and wisdom, deigned to support my research. You gave me this treatment, but I'm not Garlean. Alamegan, through and through. What you have been granted is far greater than mere magic. Before that lesser light, it is as a second sun. I am informed that Alagiri was recently occupied by the Resistance, and that an attack on Specular Imperatoris is considered imminent. This could provide an ideal opportunity to test her performance in the field. Your... Skulls, was it? They have joined the garrison at the Watchtower? Yes, my lord. By your leave, I would rendezvous with them and lead a counter-attack against the insurgents. No. Even were you to leave now, you would not arrive in time. There is another duty to you. 